Hope you're doing well today. I'm uh, going to do a lesson here on a country tune called Steel Guitar Rag. Uh, it's kind of a country standard. If you're ever in a country band and you need a feature tune, this is a great tune to use. As long as there's not a, st a steel guitar player in the band, you probably wouldn't wouldn't want you to do it. But otherwise, it's a great tune to feature. It's not it's not very hard to play at all. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just go through it and. And uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, the I usually play the the whole thing through once, and then go through the second time and play the first half um, with an improvised solo. But I wrote out this little solo that I I think works really well. So if I play this tune again, I'm just going to use this written solo. So that's what I'm going to do for you. So uh, here we go. Steel guitar rack. Okay, going through it here, you're kind of in this E chord here. You might think of it as a G chord if you move up here. So the trick is you got to uh, bend the second up to the third. Well, it's good to kind of, when you're practicing this, to kind of pick that third before you bend it. You just kind of hear it. And then the second time you do it, so that's a whole step bend. The second time you do it, you do a half step bend, and that's giving you the A9 chord. There's the E, there's the uh, A9 chord. It's probably not going to be perfect, so don't, don't obsess with it. This part just kind of do lightly. It's kind of just the background part. Okay, going on. Now to the four chord. So you just kind of walk up to the root, and then when you get to the root, you just do kind of an embellishment here. root in the fifth. Then go to this E chord. Okay, for the F sharp, you're just using this simple triad here, but you're sliding into it. Same triad up here from the B. And just kind of a passing half steps here. Same thing on the F sharp, just... Up to the B. 
just kind of do a hammer on there to get an E chord, okay? Okay, going on. Here we're going up to the E chord. We're doing the same thing we did here, this little triad. Same thing on the B chord. Back to E. Down to A. Here we're just using this E chord. Slide into it though. Slide into the B. Slide into the E. Okay. Now we're going to go back and do the A section again, but this time we're going to improvise or just use a little solo that I wrote out here. So I'm just going chromatically starting down the root up to the third. Five, six, five. So that's kind of a blues. Okay. And then on the root. Okay, now here for an A chord, you use the flat seventh in the root and you kind of hold on to them. a little tension there. All out of this A chord, huh? And then still, uh, even though you're, you're still kind of in the E chord, but you're starting on the second. Sixth, huh? Okay, here on the E chord again. Kind of bend in the third again, right? Here we're bending the fifth up to the sixth. Okay, then on the A chord, we're just using this little tr uh, two notes here. It's just this basically. E chord, so we're bending into the third here. A chord, bend into the third. And just a little lick here on the B7. Okay, and then you just go back to there, okay? And then just play it as written there, and then in the end I just did kind of a blues thing. there you have it the steel guitar rag really fun tune to play works well as a feature tune if you're in a, like a variety band you can use it as a polka or something for a dance band uh, remember if you want to get the backing track or the PDF recorded example uh, go to my website BillApplegateGuitarist.com I hope this was something that was useful for you and you have a great day thanks a lot